This video will go over the subject of digestion as covered in the book The Power of Your Metabolism by Frank Suarez. One of the several factors that can decrease the metabolism is poor digestion. Some of the symptoms of poor digestion can include heartburn, acid reflux, intestinal gases, flatulence, or constipation. The problem with having poor digestion is that your cells are ultimately unable to use the food you eat and even the supplements you might take. Food is composed of tiny molecules and atoms. Unless the food you eat can be broken down into its smallest molecular size, it will not be able to be used by your cells. Simply put, it's really just a problem of size. From the moment your saliva comes into contact with food, your body will start to digest it. As it moves through the body into the stomach, the body then uses enzymes and very powerful acids that, when they work properly, can effectively break down even the toughest foods. Digestion then continues through the rest of the intestines. The entire digestion process, in fact, takes between 12 and 16 hours to complete. For those suffering from poor digestion, it can take up to 36 hours or more. Luckily, there are a few ways that you can improve your digestion as well as your metabolism. Some of these include drinking a lot of water, taking digestive enzymes, lowering your intake of refined carbohydrates, and not combining foods that don't digest well together. Fruits and proteins, for example, tend to ferment in the body when eaten at the same time. Unfortunately, the body is not able to use foods that ferment during digestion, which in turn can lower the metabolism further. In summary, anything that decreases the ability of your body to properly digest foods and nutrients will also slow your metabolism. To learn more about this topic, read the chapter Bad Digestion in the book The Power of Your Metabolism by Frank Suarez.